What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. It's been over a decade when Dr. Umar Johnson made a particular presentation. This presentation has gone viral all over black YouTube. And Dr. Umar Johnson was talking about a certain group of people in the black community that could not be helped. He had pretty much an idea of what should happen to them. But I want to be clear. I know some of us love our children, but some of our children are so far gone that we're going to have to put some of them to sleep in order to take back the neighborhood. Some of y'all don't want to hear that because you don't live in reality. But I'm telling you as a psychologist, I'm not going to be able to psychologize all of them on the corner. Some of them going to sleep from God. Now, of course, people didn't like that. You know, most people in the community believe that everybody must be saved and everybody could be helped. But he said it best for good. But then let's think about that particular group of men that Dr. Umar Johnson believes needs to get away from black America in order for it to thrive. If your daughter falls in love with one of these guys, one of these bad boys and not, you know, a good young man that you want to do. And uh, her reasoning is this. I did a video on why good guys are boring. I think it's only fair. I do a video on why girls love bad boys. It's the charm. Bad boys are very charming, extremely charming. And they know women inside and out. Like, it's always the bad guys that be knowing exactly how to talk to you and exactly how to move with you. And bad boys honestly give you a challenge. Like, as much as people want to say, oh, it's toxic and this and that. Like, there's a certain level where, like, I feel like your partner should be able to challenge you. And I must admit, like, who doesn't love a good chase? Like, I think healthy chase is not so terrible. I don't think you should give everything all at once. That's what makes the relationship boring when you dump everything all at the beginning. But I also have to admit, it's ego. I think the more someone shows you that they don't want you, the more you want them. That goes for men and women. I don't know, there's just something about bad boys. It's like they know how to show you the right amount of what you need, but they're just damn right players. They're no good. Now, most of us, if your daughter is dating a guy, a Pookie or a Ray Ray, you're probably gonna say, listen, you need to give this guy up. I can tell you right now, if my daughter is dating a guy like that, I would probably put her ass out of my house, okay? I'm old school with it. If you gonna do what you wanna do, you're not gonna do it here. But hey, everybody ain't like me. And yes, even if it was my son, I wouldn't care. If you're not doing what I'm asking you to do, I'm gonna put your ass out the house. That's how my parents would have been. That's how I'm gonna be, all right? But check this out. There was a brother who loved his daughter the brother's name was Keith Poole. He had three kids in the home, including the daughter. The daughter was dealing with a Pookie and a Ray Ray type of guy. A guy who posted guns on the social media, a guy who wasn't really into the, the right thing. But you know what? The brother wanted to show the young man some love, maybe looking at him as a son, he had nowhere to go. And you know, hey, listen, well, you know, you with my daughter, so at least I know where the both of y'all is at. So why don't you come and live with me? Turned out not to be a good idea. So he kept finding guns. He was finding things the young man was doing. And he asked the young man to leave his home. What happened after that? I'm alert for you. An 18 year old now behind bars accused of murder. And we've now learned the man he allegedly shot and killed in Pompano Beach was his girlfriend's father. Local 10 crime specialist Bridget Matter is joining us live with more details on this one. Bridget. Christy, investigators say that this teen shot and killed his girlfriend's father over social media posts. The contents of those posts have not been released to us. He has turned himself in to police as of today. On August 19th, investigators found a man named Keith Poole bleeding on a front porch off Northeast 28th Street in Pompano Beach. The 44-year-old was shot twice. Two days later, the Broward County Sheriff's Office arrested 18-year-old Lawan Jones Jr. for first-degree murder. Investigators say Jones ran away with his girlfriend after the shooting, and according to the victim's relative, the teen was dating Poole's daughter who witnessed the shooting. She was later reunited safely with family. BSO says the shooting took place after 
after Poole discovered social media posts by Jones he thought were inappropriate. Mr. Lawan Jones? The judge, I've been advised he's a refusal. Jones refused to appear before a judge for bond this afternoon. Jones is facing a first degree murder charge and he remains in the Broward County Jail. We're live in Pompano Beach. Bridget Matter, Local 10 News. Bridget, thank you. Oh yeah, the young man repaid him by gunshots? <laughs> Shooting this man and killing him in front of his kids in the house that he pays for. Not only did he do that, he ran off with his girlfriend, then returned her. Now they're basically sitting around trying to find her seeing where she's at and all the stuff. Let me just say this family. And um, you know, I can't tell anybody what to do. I can't tell you how you should rock. I can't tell you how you should rock and do your things. But here's what I will tell you. If you have a daughter that has a pookie problem and she likes those men who are not like you, um, let me tell you one thing that you gotta do. Never invite that person into your house. Number one, okay? You are encouraging bad behavior. You are encouraging pookie behavior and you need to get rid of it. Let me tell you about my granddaddy. My granddaddy used to tell me when I used to live with him for a little bit, cause my dad had moved back to LA. And um, he said, son, if you're gonna stay in this house, there's a few things that need to happen. First of all, you're gonna work and you're gonna go to school. And when you're not in school, you're gonna go to church. You're definitely going to church. So I don't even want to hear it that you're not going to church because you're definitely going to church. You're going to work and you're going to school. All right. That's just what you're going to do. You're going to work and go to school. If not, you're going to get your ass up out of here. This is just what you're going to do. You're going to get your ass up out of here. All right. That's just how it's going to be. You're not going to live here and not do this. Why would you let your daughter and I understand you trying to make sure that she do the, you know, you're trying to look out for her and trying to be a cool dad, but this ain't about being no cool dad. This is about saving your daughter's life. All right. And sometimes you want to save your kid's life by not being friends with them. All right. It just is what it is. You know, you're not going to be able to be friends with your damn kids like that. And I'm going to tell you, this is how a lot of y'all going to get thanked. So either the kid do what you're asking to do, or you gonna have to get them out of there. All right. Because you can't have people in your house doing whatever they want to do. It's just not going to work, man. Some of you brothers work too hard to take care of your kids. And you got to understand with the kids you do have, you can save. Sometimes you can't save all of, I don't know, one particular individual. And let me just say that individual has kids. One of them's a doctor and the next person is not a doctor. Okay. They're, they're, they're a pookie. All right. They not doing what they supposed to do and they got issues and all that. All right. Now, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you like it is. If you wanna be dumb and, and feel like <laughs> you can do whatever you wanna do, look, be, be my guest, okay? You can definitely be my guest, but I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna regret it. And you're gonna end up like this guy, all right? You're gonna end up specifically like that brother. And I would hate that this would happen to you. So guys, what do you think it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.